Supreme Court decision in the Tinker v. Des Moines case was a huge landmark in the history of student rights. It said that students in school have the First Amendment right to free expression. It's a big deal. In the mid-1960s, American society was going through a lot of changes, and the public became increasingly skeptical about U.S. military involvement in Vietnam. People, including students, got involved in protesting what they considered injustices. These were considered controversial topics. In December of 1965, a small group of students in Iowa decided they wanted to wear black armbands to school to show their objection to the Vietnam conflict. But the school board heard about the plan and announced that any student who wore an armband to school would be sent home in a suspension. Five students wore the armbands anyway. They were sent home. While they were suspended, their parents sued the school district, saying that the district was violating the students' rights to free expression guaranteed by the First Amendment. The school district won the suit, but the families appealed, and it ended up in the Supreme Court. There were really two questions at stake in the case. One was wearing an armband, quote, symbolic speech, and therefore protected by the First Amendment, and two, were students in school given the same rights to expression as they would have outside school? In February 1969, the Supreme Court ruled 7-2 to two that the school district was not justified in suspending the students for wearing the armbands. They said the armbands were symbolic speech, and thus wearing them was protected by the First Amendment. They also said that students do not, quote, shed their constitutional rights to freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. In other words, students, even young ones, have the right to free expression even when they're at school. The school officials had argued that there was a reasonable concern that allowing the students to wear the armbands in protest would disrupt school, but the Supreme Court disagreed. The decision said that while student expression that caused a material and substantial disruption to school was not protected, in this case, the protest didn't cause a disruption. The idea of disruption became one of the exceptions to protected speech in schools. The idea that students should be learning how to be good citizens, to be engaged in their democracy, is important to the success of a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Getting practice with their rights provided by the Constitution and its amendments is part of that. Young people would never again have their right to free expression challenged. Well, sadly, that last part isn't true. While the Tinker case is important, it's not the end of the story. The 1988 Supreme Court decision in the Hazelwood case was sort of a backlash against Tinker. While it didn't exactly reverse the Tinker decision, Hazelwood narrowed a lot of student expression rights. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.